Hello guys, welcome back to Cold Water Study, I'm Quok. Behind me, on the last video, we got this lovely night at Defender 90. We just put our wide, gloss black, wide arches on. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to install our roof pod, light pod. This one comes in gloss black. The owner wanted gloss black. And uh, it also comes in carbon. We offer carbon range, carbon and gloss black. So um, in this video, we're gonna show you how to install this light pod. And also, we're gonna show you what the kit's involved and how to install it, how easy it is. So uh, let's get onto it. As you can see, it comes with a top part, gloss black, our roof pod. A couple spotlights, LED spotlights. Wiring, wiring kit. Hardware to fit this kit together. The backing for the light to sit on. Then this kit is remote control. It goes down the side of the uh, A pillar, so I will show you how to fit that. On the spotlights, it comes with these brackets. So screw them onto the um, the brackets first, and then attach them to this this base. Right guys, once all the spotlights are in place, check it with the, the outside pod for the light to be in position. So we... Right, once it's all checked, we've got to put the loom in and tidy the loom up. This is the wiring loom. Make sure this end is, comes out from the driver's side we need to plug it into the A-post. Tidying up all the wire in there, all done. As you can see, cable tie, tidy it up. Refit this back on again. So we can offer up on the roof where, with a masking tape, where we can uh, take the panel. Once we lay the pod onto the roof, you can see it's all marked out with fine line. We're going to clean this section up and then we're going to clean underneath the, the pod up to put some tape on. You can see all the free end tape's been laid as best we could on the base. So now I've got to go to get some help because I can't do this on my own to offer up and stick onto the roof. So um, be right back. Right guys, the uh, roof pod is all stuck down and now we've got to work in the engine bay to wire it up. So uh, first things first, 
pop the Benji Bay out and uh, start stripping the, the pillar down. So um, let's get on to it. Pull this off, this trim, it's quite easy. You just slice it over and there should be a screw. So we take that screw out, that pillar drops down and we'll run the wire down there and then we'll wire it in in there. So, um, we go. And now the panel has been removed. This wire I tucked up here can go down, down the pillar neatly. So thread it down like so. You will have a little white exposure, but you rather have that than having your roof drilled to have the wire going through. So, so look how neat that is. And then when we get down here, there is a wire that we're going to hook it round. See that wire there? That wire there. I'll show you. So it keeps away from the hinge. As you can see, the wire is poked through, through the back of the, uh, the spotlight wire. So it's sort of away from the hinges. So now we start wiring it up. Right guys, she's all wired up. All down there, the fuse in there. And this is a control box. I'm gonna tuck it in there. And then we box it all in. Right guys, the Defender 90, the roof bar, light, thing, pod, it's all fitted. So on remote control, we can turn it on and off. And with our wide arch fit into this 90. Makes a lot of presence on the road. 